right out of the mailbox, I was impressed with the physical design of Frozen Utopia's super CD homebrew, Mysterious Song. They recreated the packaging and look of a game from the later years of the Turbo, and it brought back some nostalgic memories of buying a new game off the shelf. The eight-page full-color manual looks good. The disc is factory-pressed and sharp, and the game, well, it fits in perfectly with the existing Turbo lineup. Mysterious Song was originally an independent turn-based role-playing game from 1999, created by Darkness Ethereal. It was a short affair, but it gained a cult following among PC gamers. Well, Frozen Utopia has taken this game, upgraded it, and added some goodies all with the love of TurboGrafx fans in mind. We begin with a cutscene, one of the handful exclusively created for this version. Here we are introduced to our hero, Spear, and the voice of Grimm, a stranger who plays a key role in the game. The hand-drawn animations are pretty good, and the voice acting, well, it varies. Just when I think I have you figured out, you change. But if these are in the spirit of early CD games, then the sometimes cheesiness is quite effective. Get out of my head! Hmm. Ah, I wouldn't feel like a Turbo CD game without them. Next, we visit Torin Castle, where King Algameth the Ninth reveals the awful truth about the peaceful kingdom of Torin. Monsters have attacked. Man. He then sends Spear on a mission to investigate the insurgents of these baddies. Along the way, Spear will meet up with Tiger, a battle-hardened Torin knight who also has a slight allergy problem and Rihanna, an elite magician from Illus. Well, hello there. <clears throat> Both of them will also join the party. Then it's classic RPG time. In the spirit of games like Dragon Warrior, Final Fantasy, and the Turbo's very own Dragon Slayer, you walk around, fight random battles turn-based style, level up your character, talk to people in towns by reading text boxes, and complete numerous tasks to get to the end. The monsters you'll encounter along the way will, of course, randomly appear as you're taking a casual stroll. We got Bird Mask, Bird Man, Watcher, Cave Demon, Skull Man, Sprite, and Curse Sword. Or is that curse word? <laughs> eh, f*** it. Then the game switches to a battle system similar to the Fantasy Star series, where you can choose to attack, use a particular type of magic, or even flee the scene. Now, Spear is pretty well balanced as a fighter overall. Rihanna has high magic abilities, but is low in strength and defense. And Tiger, well, he hits pretty hard and can absorb a lot of damage, but he has no magic abilities at all. If an enemy is defeated, the game will automatically target the next foe in line, which is nice. As you grind your way up in levels, rapidly tapping button 2 will swiftly take care of your foes, and it feels quite satisfying. Mysterious Song isn't too difficult in terms of puzzle solving, but it does require a few tasks to be performed. For example, you can't get to the next part of this area until you talk to a carpenter about rebuilding a bridge. But see, he can't do that until you find his stolen tools but you can't fight the guy who stole the tools until you talk to this carpenter initially who tells you about needing the tools. What? At the shops, you can buy armor and weapons, and the text does a pretty good job revealing how they will affect each character. You can also buy items that help replenish health points, cure poison, revive a dead character, etc. These items can be also found in chests throughout the game. Let's not forget fire, ice, thunder, a few types of magic that can be had and experimented with. Also, the inn will replenish your energy for a fee and allow you to save the game, which I recommend you do very often. Most of the graphics in Mysterious Song, while simple, have been completely overhauled from the original game, often redrawn from the ground up. The colors look great, and overall, everything is quite pleasing with beautiful original backdrops. 
Now, enemy sprites could have used a tad more detail, and the static characters you come across are a bit, well, static. <laughs> but I'm sure memory limitations restricted what could and couldn't be done, and overall, the game looks really good. When you first pop the disc in, you are treated to some beautiful piano work, and for the most part, the music retains that level of quality. The battles themselves rock out and create a really tense atmosphere. The game is somewhat lacking in sound effects, but some are added into the music, like the water drops in the underground passages. I really like the sound in this game, a solid audio package created by some really talented people. The directional pad moves Spear all around and navigates the menus. Holding down button 2 will allow Spear to run, which is fantastic. Button 1 is used mostly to make selections or advance the text. The controls are simple and quite solid. Scrolling through menus and making selections happen very fast, and equipping your character or experimenting with items is a breeze. At the startup screen, you can choose between Original Mode, which retains the difficulty of the PC version, or Balanced, which is balanced differently and should require a bit less grinding. Defeating the game on Original and acquiring Ogeon, who is to me necessary to snag for that final boss anyway, will unlock the EX game in a brand new area. This exclusive Super CD part of the game adds a complex challenge and making your own map is required, if you can keep your sanity long enough. There are three different languages available and other unlockable extras, including an armory list, a showcase of defeated monsters, character sketches, and musical selections. Plus, what is that under the EX game? Hmm. The loading times are quick, however, once in a while, it will hang up during these loading times. While some turbo games exhibit this behavior a couple times per play, mysterious songs seem to trigger this effect more often. Even though there are multiple floors and areas, only a few towns exist, there are no real complex puzzles to be found, and the main quest overall is pretty short, promoting only a few hours of gameplay. But you know what, the extra added goodies, such as that involved EX area, the addicting and fast-paced gameplay, and the fact that this was created by a bunch of really talented and passionate Turbo Graphics and gaming fans really outshines any negatives. Frozen Utopia should be commended on taking on such an ambitious project and being quite successful with it. It all began way back in 2005, and I would say it was well worth the wait. They have crafted a very solid title here, and just picking up a new Turbo Graphics game, I don't know, there's just something awesome about that. Oh yeah, and one more thing, the game has quite an interesting sense of humor. <laughs> wow.